All right, I wanted to have a conversation about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S21, or the full family of the S21 phones. So the S21 regular, the S21 Plus, and the S21 Ultra. Now, these are phones that have been leaked and rumored for a really long time at this point. Like we've seen high-res imagery and really detailed specs come down the pipe for months at this point from very reliable leakers. Now, recently there's an article published by WinFuture. They kind of detailed the whole thing. So if you're interested in seeing the whole thing, it's, it's available. I want to draw your attention to, well, let's talk about the good stuff first. There's three things that I'm personally interested in. I like the new look. It's a kind of sleek looking design that's not super reminiscent of their older stuff, so I like it. I also am interested in this new Snapdragon chips or the Exynos equivalent. Supposedly the Exynos 2100 is really good this year, but the feature that caught my eye the most was the presence of flat screens on all of these phones. It's a feature that we saw on the, well, the S20 FE had it, but the flat screen. I love it, right? This is just, it's just better. It doesn't look as sexy in videos and stuff like that, but it's a more practical and in my opinion, more usable design choice than a curved screen. So that's all good stuff. But there are some features on these new phones that concern me. And it's not just me, I think it concerns a lot of people. So number one, there's no charger. Thanks Apple. There's no charger. There's seemingly no SD card slot and there's supposedly less RAM. So the S21 family is supposed to start with eight gigs of RAM at the base, which is really strange. Like the S20 from 2020 started with 12 gigs of RAM. And then the kicker, the S21 and the S21 Plus are supposedly running 1080p screens, 2400 by 1080p. It's really weird. Like when I first started YouTube, 2015, they made the switch over to 1440p screens. I remember like it was a big deal, right? A handheld device with a 1440p screen. It was crazy, it was cool, but it's been so many years of running 1440p screens and now they're reverting back to a 1080p panel? It is, like what is going on? Like, okay, I don't care how bright this screen is. I don't care how amazingly color accurate it is. I don't care what tech is in there. The fact that they're dropping resolution is going to be very noticeable, not just to the tech enthusiasts like you and I, but the average person that picks up these things, you're holding them inches away from your face. To go to a 1080p panel, I, I just, it's strange. It's really strange. Now, I'm sure there's good reason for it, and we'll get into it, but that's, it's, it's strange. Now, the other thing is that supposedly the base model S21 is running a plastic back panel or like a glastic back panel. Now we've seen this stuff on uh, the, the base model Note 20, as well as the S20 FE. I like this material. I think it looks cool. It's cheaper, it's lighter, it's more durable. It's good stuff, but a lot of the world doesn't see it that way. A lot of people like that premium glass back. Now, when these phones get announced on January 14th, I think for a lot of people, especially for tech enthusiasts, they're gonna look at this stuff with puzzlement it'll be strange, like how did Samsung's Galaxy S line, which has traditionally been like the premium, the best of the best, like the bleeding edge of what Samsung has to offer, how did it go from that stuff to 1080p panels with plastic backs and no chargers? Now I'll be honest, I actually like the idea of plastic backed phones. It's just, I, I don't mind the feel and look for them. I really like the durability. If you've watched my channel, I've broken two or three of my personal phones over the past few years, just cracks on the back through regular use. I like plastic back phones if they're done right. Like you can do them cheap. There's a bunch of phones out there, particularly Chinese branded phones that just slap on a really ugly ass plastic back. It's just got this super shiny material where they try to mimic glass. But then if you own it, like the Note 20, they just owned it. Like we got plastic, we don't care. It just, it feels like plastic. It looks like plastic, but it looks good. And this type of plastic back, I like. So if this is the type of stuff they're bringing onto the S21, I'm all for it, I think, we'll have to see. But in general, I like plastic back phones. All the other feature oddities, not so much, particularly the 1080p panel. Like even though it's 120 Hertz, it just doesn't feel right. Not for a Galaxy S smartphone. So the big question, at least for me, was why? Why would they do this? Because it's not like Samsung's sitting at the top there thinking, hmm, let's pack a phone with garbage specs, garbage features and charge a lot of money and not sell any units. That's not reality, right? There's, a, there's an actual reason why they go with this route. And I think, and this is just a theory, 
I think, because I've been thinking about this for the past few days, right? Like, why? This doesn't make sense. This doesn't add up. I think it's because they're actually sidelining these phones. I think that the Galaxy S phones and the Note phones are being pushed slowly over time to the side in favor of their foldables, where they're spending a lot more of their R&D money. They're spending more effort to make their foldables a thing. That's just a theory, but it, it just makes sense. Because if you look at the innovations that we've been seeing in the flat slab screen phones over the past few years, and, it's, and considering that Samsung makes a lot of the stuff, right? They make the RAM modules that go in these things. They make the SOCs with their Exynos chips. They make the screens, like they have the tech to make this stuff way better if they wanted to. They don't have to put 1080p panels into these things. There's no way they need to, but they're doing it with intent because I really think the foldables is where they wanna be because that's just, that's what they see as the future. Now, this is just a theory, but I want to know, someone who watches me must have a sound theory as to what on earth is going on, because I want to know. In three years' time, the S24, when it drops, what is that going to look like? Is it plastic mid-range stuff, like the S20 FE, which was an awesome value, or do you think it'll be more like the traditional Galaxy S with a more premium lineup? Let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. See you guys next time.